Hello everyone, Palitev here. Welcome back to Warframe. I wanted to uh, kind of fill you guys in on what I'm doing and also give you uh, some recommendations for things that you could be doing while you're out on the star map. Now, without spoiling anything, I've opened this door and oh my god, it was amazing. It was amazing. Okay, anyway, anyway, I don't want to give anything away. I don't want to give anything away. Um, I have been working on the Spy 2.0 missions um, because... They actually give you a lot of really, really good things. So specifically, I've been working on uh, the Corpus missions. I've just been running them over and over and over. They give uh, a lot of really good mods. And, uh, you know, if you guys see a spy mission on the map, it's definitely worth your time to check it out. So uh, these missions give you, well, there's different tiers. I'm going to put a link down in the video description right next to my recruit friend link just saying that will uh show you the different rewards from different areas like there's all different tiers of difficulties and different spy missions will give you different rewards i've been trying to farm some very specific elemental mods and uh, just running these missions over and over and over and over um they are a great idea if you have some free time and you're looking for something to do, just knocking these bad boys out will increase your character's ability to do just about anything. Elemental mods are crucial. Uh, also, you can get the Avara Warframe. I hope I didn't already mention that, and I'm just repeating myself now. Uh, but essentially, these missions are all about stealth, and I'm, I've been leveling up all of the Warframes and weapons I missed out on in my hiatus from the game. Uh, so, for instance, my Nova Prime here is only level 20. I'm using, like, a level 12 Breton or something. Like, it, it's... I don't have a lot of stuff going for me. Let's put it that way. Um, I made it to point A here. And the first thing I did was turn off the alarm. Uh, there's no reason to turn off the alarm prior to getting to these doors. No reason at all. And, um, I'm basically just going to clear out these guys. Hopefully they don't sound another alarm. If they do, you know, whatever. Just, just fuck it. Let's go ahead and start it. Let's go ahead and start it, shall we? So this is the first door. This is how you start the entire thing. And spy missions, again, are all about stealth. So you have to make your way through this area without triggering any alarms. And you guess it. If you step into any of these lasers, an alarm is going to sound. So uh, just, just for the purposes of showing you that it can be done... I am, I'm gonna make it through without using any of Nova's special powers, but man, Nova is awesome at these. So there you go, nice and easy. And then if you're doing this in multiplayer, you can turn this off and let someone else go through uh, by using that little walkway. Or you could just teleport yourself because Nova's a badass and she does whatever she wants. She goes where she pleases. Uh, so essentially, we have made it through in stealth. And we just have to unlock this last little panel. And granted, these ciphers can be a little bit challenging on some of these missions. Or these these puzzles, rather, are a little bit challenging. On some of these missions, you can just straight up use ciphers to solve the puzzle for you. And then you actually don't have to hack anything, uh, which is pretty nice. But now that we've, we've uh, unlocked the rewards at A, I'm just going to run straight to B. You know, not stopping to fight anything. We're going to do this nice and streamlined, nice and easy. And I'll see you all when I get there. All right, we've made it. And I'm pretty sure I didn't start any other alarms. So that's good. Just ran straight here. There might be an alarm now. Who knows? i um, just going to go ahead and open the door. And we can look at another one of these. So things you should be aware of while you're doing these missions. Uh, if you are doing this one, by the way, just turn the lasers off. Things you should be aware of while you're doing these missions. If you set off an alarm... You are going to have uh, between 20 and 50 seconds to get to the objective, which is, you know, the main console, and to uh, disable it within that time frame. Now, uh, it is important to mention, so I just walked in front of a camera and an alarm went off. It is important to mention that if too many alarms go off, so for instance, if you set three alarms off on a level, you will have to do an exterminate mission as well because of course you can't have any witnesses so if you're going for prime efficiency here if you're trying to get as much done in as little time as possible uh, make sure you don't set off every alarm now you can set off the last two and it's not that big of a deal you can do that no problem you can still clear out the mission just fine uh, but do try not to set off three of these 
Oh god, alarms in one run. Now if you're doing these types of missions with your friends, like you, it's you and two other buddies, have everyone split up and go do one of these areas themselves and then you guys can all meet up at the end. And uh, that's good for a number of reasons. Obviously you're all getting mods and you're all progressing your accounts at the same time, but you will also get void keys from most of these missions as well. And void keys are a fantastic way to progress your character. I would say, you know, if you're looking at the star map, that's your early game. The star map is like your early game. You could do, you do stuff on the star map and it progresses your game, that's fine. Void keys are like the middle game. And then you can go to like endless survivability, or endless survival, endless defense with your void keys. Oh, I set off another alarm, great. Or, you know, uh, go into raid style content with up to eight people, that's your late game, but just this kind of stuff. This is your early game, man. This is where you prepare for the super hard content. And you will get a ton of really good mods and materials in here. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I failed in a puzzle in a video. What will I do? There we go. So, uh, I've completed all three things. You'll notice the, the question mark at the bottom left. That just means, you know... Uh, that we don't know what our item is. We haven't identified it yet. Oh, come on. Come on. That shouldn't have stopped me. I was sliding. Now we're just going to make it to the end and see what we got. And we got shotgun ammo mutation, which basically turns ammo on the ground into shotgun ammo. Uh, power throw, which is punch through on thrown melee weapons. We got some Feldron samples and a Tower 2 Defense Void Key. Now, like I said, these Void Keys are really useful later on for not only getting a ton of XP, but also getting Prime parts and building the Prime weapons and Prime Warframes. You're going to find most of those in the Void area, so this key is one of the, the areas that we are now allowed to venture into. Also, take a look at how much I progressed. Granted, I do have an Affinity Booster going on right now, but six levels on my melee weapon that I just started using and six levels on my secondary and Nova Prime leveled up as well. So this took a total of about eight minutes when everything was said and done, you know, from the time I hit record to now. I, d I even gave you that little exposition at the start. It took eight minutes. I got some really, really good XP. Also, keep in mind, if you have your syndicate, um, syndicate uh, front sigil on, your sigil, that will be increasing your rep as well. So this is coming along quite nicely as I continue to run these missions over and over as well. Again, a list of all the rewards. Actually, I'll just send you straight to the wiki. And then you have to, oh, here, let me show you. Let me show you. There's like a little spoiler warning. There's, let me hide my bookmark. It's, it's so important you guys don't see what I go, what I do on the internet. So this is the wiki I'm sending you to. Uh, you know, this, these are all the planets that have spy missions and the name of the area. And then you can view the rewards list. These are all of the mods and things that you can get from doing spy missions. So they are definitely worth your time if you're looking for something to do out in the galaxy. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, man, I'm really enjoying this game again. It, it's so, so good to come back to. I bought some bobbleheads and I put them around my thing. Oh, aren't they pretty? That was on the outside. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.